yeah. Okay, welcome to our classic Mercedes Hymer S660. This one was manufactured in 1993, so it's uh, pretty old. I thought it'd be a good idea to come up to the van today to do a little bit of a walk round video. It's something that I've been meaning to do for a while, really to give anybody who's interested in purchasing an older style Hymer down the line an idea of what they're all about. This is the first one I've done, so bear with me a little bit, and hopefully it'll go okay. I'm going to do the interior of the van first and if the weather picks up a little bit hopefully I can do a little bit outside as well. Fingers crossed it goes okay, let's give it a go. Okay starting from the front of the vehicle one thing that Hymer do really well as part of their styling is these amazing windscreens and you can see this 660 as an epic screen on it. Fantastic when you're driving, fantastic when you're pitched up. The ISRI seats, these are absolutely brilliant. Uh, when you're driving, they're super comfortable. Both of these rotate into the van, as you can see here. This 660 initially had a dinette conversion in it, which was fantastic. But for a few reasons, we wanted to uh, go for an L-shaped conversion. One, because it brings this uh, chair into play. And two, because it just makes it a little bit more social in this area. Okay, so the drop down bed. To bring the bed into play, you have to move these seats out of the way, which I shall do now. Both seats down, and obviously then you want to drop the bed. So it's a seat belt arrangement here. Just click the button. Oh, nice and steady does it, and get a load of that. Not the caravans, the bed. You've got a, a whopping four and a half by just over six foot bed there. So yeah, the drop down bed is pretty epic. Here we got the traumatic heater, which is absolutely fantastic. It's a gas heater. There is a duct-in arrangement which goes all the way around the van. There's a little fan on the back of the uh, traumatic and that blows hot air everywhere. So it keeps the van toasty and warm. Fantastic work surface area here. We've got the hob, which has got three little burners on it, which is cool. Next to that, we've got the fridge, which has probably got a can of coke and some uh, milk in it. Nice little drawer here for storing more of your uh, more rubbish. We take that out of the way and we've got this sink there for your washing up needs. Okay, under the sink we've got a drawer for your knives and forks and bits and bobs. There's a cupboard underneath that which has got a basket in it for all your uh, all your other bits and bobs, and then more bits and bobs can be stored underneath the uh, underneath the sink as well. Bits and bobs everywhere. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, we've got the the gas manifold is right there. You can see that all the isolators for your various gas appliances are in this cupboard on the 660. Uh, just above that, we've got this. Uh, oh, I mean, you the cherry veneer. Look at that. The cherry veneer cupboards with shelf arrangements underneath. So great for storing your bits and bobs, coffee, glasses, food. And then here we've got a, a rather large wardrobe, which is great for booze. Okay, moving on to the bathroom. The best room in the house. The perch of plenty. Right, um, hi mum. This is brilliant, we love it. It's really well thought out area from Hymer. Again, you've got the sink. Let me just turn the light on. You've got the sink, you've got a cupboard underneath to store your bits and bobs. Obviously the toilet, an area to store your loo rolls. The shower tray at the bottom, which is uh, pretty self-explanatory. But where's the shower, you say? Where is the shower? Well, the shower is right here. This uh, shower head 
pulls out it clips up into the top there and uh yeah so the tap becomes a shower head tap shower head absolutely brilliant so uh, plenty of mirrors so you can uh, pamper yourself and uh yeah we really love it right moving into the back of the van we've got this amazing double bed it's pretty much the same dimensions as the drop down bed a fraction longer and a fraction wider the 660 when it came out it had two variations it had one that's got this the fixed bed and it's also got one that's got a rear dining area in it so you can pretty much step up here and sit around the table in the back which is good and that also converts into a bed which is great but we like this arrangement so yeah nice big double bed if you're liking the cherry veneer cop a load of that plenty more storage area there i travel with three young ladies and each of them likes to commandeer two of these lockers plus the cupboard next to me which leaves me with this area here for everything that i've got but you know i'm a bloke and we can handle it Thanks for watching. I hope I haven't bored you too much, and here's till next time. Okay, you have no idea how many times I've done this uh, intro section for this video. It's got to be 70. Um, anyway, the bathroom. but we're going to give it a go anyway um, and secondly is because you can me